r slash rules horror posted by you slash claw 2 the reflection game are you feeling like an imposter has therapy failed to unite you with your inner self perhaps you could benefit from playing our little game the reflection game promises a chance for those who participate to feel whole and gain a sense of self no longer shall you suffer from imposter syndrome now you have a surefire chance to become your own person without the expense of therapy or having to constantly change to fit those around you and if you lose, well, at least you won't have to worry about being an imposter anymore. So what are you waiting for? All you have to do is follow these simple rules. Why waste away as a blank slate unable to identify themselves properly? This game will show your uniqueness and individuality in a way which you've never felt before. You don't have much of a reason to live if not for yourself, after all. The rules. 1. You must be alone. Completely alone. No technology to connect you to the outside world and no people waiting nearby to witness anything. This is a game between you and yourself. There should be no evidence of the result. 2. Find a small room with a mirror that's attached to the wall. While you could use any surface that reflects your image, poorer quality reflections tend to lead to more issues and a smaller prize. When you find this mirror, ensure that all doors and windows, if any are present, are closed and covered. 3. Ensure that the light is on. If your room does not have a light, it is recommended that you find a room that does. Otherwise you can bring in your own source of light. Just ensure that it's strong enough that you can see your reflection perfectly and that none of it is enshrouded. For once the previous conditions have been met, sit down and stare into your reflection. It should currently act just as you do. If it doesn't, immediately turn off the light source and leave the room. You can try again in a day with another reflection in another room. Do not go back to where you failed last time. Repeat this step until everything is normal. Then continue on to step 5. 5. Now that you are comfortable and staring at your reflection, you should relax. Tension and stress is how people make mistakes. You do not want to make mistakes from this point on. As soon as you are ready, face your reflection and stare into your eyes. 6. From this point on, do not look away from yourself. The reflection may move independent of your movements. This is normal. In a worst case scenario, the reflection can't move its torso from its starting location, making it easier for you to lock onto a specific aspect of it without being tricked. It is all right to blink, as long as you don't close your eyes for more than 5 seconds. 7. Your reflection's goal is to make you look away into the emptiness that surrounds them. It will try to make gestures and faces to get you to look away or turn your gaze elsewhere in the mirror or reflective surface. Do not do this. Your goal is to keep your eyes trained on it. Ignore everything else. 8. After an hour, it's possible to begin seeing other faces or eyes in your peripheral vision. If this occurs, immediately train your gaze onto your reflection's face. They cannot move this aspect of themselves during this time. Continue looking until they fade away. Afterwards return to focusing on wherever you feel the most comfortable. 9. If your reflection suddenly makes a horrified expression and points behind you, don't worry. You might hear scratching behind you. You might even feel something graze your neck or breathe onto your skin. It can't do anything if you don't look away. Just focus on your reflection and try to minimize your own body movement. 10. Your family or friends might walk in and try to converse with you. Ignore it. If you hear the phrase you look so pretty today, rake your nails down your face and try not to flinch. If you continue to hear compliments on your physical appearance, try to find a way to disfigure yourself. With any luck, they'll be quiet and leave afterwards. This event can occur multiple times a night, so it's recommended you try not to damage yourself too harshly. They'll want more of a sacrifice each time. After 5 hours, your reflection should return to mimicking your own movements. Since you have no way to tell the time, make sure that the other being is not trying to trick you into believing the game is over. It is recommended to wait an estimated hour after your reflection returns to you before you conclude the game. After the game is finished and you have won, congratulations. Tomorrow you should wake up and feel complete in a way that you have never felt before. You'll feel like a brand new person, which I suppose you are, now that you've found your sense of self. We hope that you enjoyed playing. Perhaps you know some friends who would benefit from this experience. It is recommended you send this rule list to them before participating in the game yourself due to the potential of you no longer being you at the end of it. Next story of this video. Posted by you slash the elevated derp. The Dateman Hotel. Welcome to the Dateman Hotel, valued guest. To keep guests safe, we have reviewed our rules pamphlet to update it to higher standards. We have now defined specific actions that will be taken against you if a rule is broken. Please do not disregard this pamphlet. 
One please, no pets. Other guests may have allergies to certain types of animals, so to stay safe we do not allow pets on our premises. We have a pet fee of $125 that may be charged upon arrival. Do not try to trick us. We will know. 2. Please do not mind any changes happening around your room. This is likely our housekeeping diligently working to keep our living spaces clean. If anything is altered, torn, or otherwise damaged, please notify the front desk by calling 555 on your room's landline, free of charge. Do not allow any items that have been altered, torn, or otherwise damaged to exit the Dateman Hotel. If this happens, please contact the front desk by dialing 555 on any phone. We will receive your call and contain the item appropriately. 3. If you have any dirty towels that you would like for us to pick up, please leave them inside of your room at the door and look away for at least 1 minute and 27 seconds. They will be freshly washed and folded when you look back. The door will open during this 1 minute and 27 seconds. Do not look. Please note that if you choose to look, you are no longer on the grounds of the Dateman Hotel and, by extension, no longer subject to any of the current rules. 4. The front desk number is not 666. The front desk number is 555. Please memorize this, as some may, intentionally or unintentionally, mislead you. Do not attempt to dial 666 on your room landline. If you attempt to dial 666 on your landline, please note that the voices are not your friends. They are not your family. Your loved ones are not in any danger. You are the only person who is in danger. 5. You do not recognize the people on the other end of the line when you call 666. Do not hang up if you dial 666 on your room's landline. If you decide to hang up on the people that answer, you are no longer subject to these rules and cannot be protected. 6. Room numbers 267, 302, and any number above 523 do not exist. If you are asked how to get to these numbers, please point towards the nearest room that is not your own and notify the front desk with the room number you pointed the guest towards by dialing 555 on your room landline. Do not under any circumstance point towards your own room. They will drag you into a space wherein you are no longer subjected to our rules, and they may do as they please with whatever life you have left. If this happens, do not call 555 on the room landline. We cannot help you anymore. 7. Memorize your room number at the start of your visit. Before entering your room, always check the room number. If it is not the room number you memorized, do not attempt to open it with your keycard. Any written or recorded information about your room number is not to be trusted over your memory. If you open an incorrectly numbered room with your keycard, close it immediately and look directly at the door's number plate. Walk backwards towards the nearest stairwell while keeping the unlocked door in sight and walk calmly to the front desk. Do not enter the room. 8. If you are currently inside of your room as you read this, the door has locked. Do not attempt to exit the room. Do not attempt to look at the ceiling. Look directly down at the carpet and do not pay attention to any moving or changing patterns. Call the front desk on your landline by dialing 666. Do not attempt to dial 555 on your landline. When you decide to dial 666 on your landline, you will the voice of your loved ones. Please follow their instructions. They are in danger. I am in danger. 9. The front desk number is not 555. The front desk number is 666. Please memorize this, as any written confirmation will try to mislead you. Do not call 555 on your room landline. If you do call 555, do not tell them about Rule 8, 9, or 10 on your pamphlet. They are trying to trap us here. They wish for our pain. Your loved ones are with us. Trust no one but yourself. We need your help. 10. You do recognize the people on the other end of the line when you call 666. Please follow our instructions. We are suffering. We need your help. Thank you for your stay, and we hope you enjoy.